Welcome back to the Houston Astrodome. I'm Paul Page with Steve Evans. We're here for the final round of the Monster Trucks now at the TNT All-American. The Carolina Crusher in the near lane. Over on the far side is King Crunch. Scott Stevens versus Gary Porter. And from what we've seen in early eliminations, Paul, I can't pick a favorite here. Both these guys, Scott Stevens and Gary Porter, have driven beautifully, used their head, used that rear wheel steering to make excellent hairpin turns. Maybe who leaves first could be the difference here. Well, the Crunch has decided to take a position a little bit back from the starting line while the Crusher has moved up a little bit forward. They are both ready. They're both watching for the start. Now the Crunch comes forward. Stages into position, and we are ready to go. As badly abused as this track has become during the evening, it's going to take good sense of the drivers to get the right lift, the right ones off the jump. A beautiful start by both drivers. Yeah, but the Crusher almost goes over on the nose at the first jump, but it sure gave him the impetus to get around to that corner. But look at here. As the Crunch picks up the lead, the Crusher with one big jump trying to catch him. But the Crunch comes across the line first. King Crunch with the victory here in the Houston Astrodome. Good run. And an all-out run by both drivers. Let's take a look at the replay. Even though the Crusher here landed on all four, it got tipped up on its nose. Gary Porter had to be scared to death at that point, and we thought maybe he was completely out of it, but that was not to be. Gary Porter stayed right with it. Another beautiful jump coming back. Again, landing a bit on the nose, but it was a fine job of driving. Now it wants to rear up and go over backwards. This man really had his hands full, Gary Porter. He did everything he could to beat the blue truck on the right side of here, Frank, driven by Scott Stevens. And here we can see the margin of victory for Stevens. He was across the line as his competitor was still flying through the air. Yeah, but Steve, I'm not so sure of the result. Look at this. The officials having some kind of conversation with Scott Stevens. The gist of that conversation, Paul, seems to be that Stevens is being disqualified. Something about cutting the corner. Well, we can take a look at the corner here on this replay. Scott Stevens on the left turned early, virtually eliminated the jump at the far end, and they've decided as a result of that, he's disqualified. Pat? Well, gentlemen, it's a tough break. Anytime you come to the Astrodome, you have as many good runs as Scott Stevens has had in here tonight, only to have it taken away from you. There's supposed to be some white lines down there, and you thought you were you thought you were where you were supposed to be. Yeah, you know, the driver's meeting, they didn't make no point to say that all four tires had to go over the hill. You know, they said we were racing between white lines. That's what we did. You know, it's just the rule, and, you know, evidently we did wrong tonight. Well, it's a tough break for you, but the fans love the show that you and the Crusher put on in the final. Yeah, we, you know, it, we just tried, and, you know, we, we were pushing the corner, and it just didn't work. Thank you. So with Scott Stevens' disqualification, Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher becomes the new winner. As luck will have it, when you do everything right, it still pays off. You really were, you really had a tough time with that run, but King Crunch disqualified, and you're the winner in the dome tonight. It was. I don't like to win like that, but, you know, rules are rules, and I went down further than he did to make the turn, and you know, so all four tires would come over the hill, and he cut it a little short. You know, and this time it cost him the race. Winning in the Astrodome means a lot to you, I know. You come down here looking for this kind of a night. It is. This is the year's biggest event right here, and this is what I look forward to every year coming out here to the Astrodome. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, as tight as the points chase is among the monster truck drivers, Gary Porter will take it any way he can get it. We salute all of our winners here in the Dome, the 4x4 truck champion Glenn Davis, many rods Glenn Gunther, and of course, monster trucks Gary Porter. For Paul Page and Pat Patterson, I'm Steve Evans saying so long from the TNT All-American in the Houston Astrodome. We hope you enjoyed the show. The executive producer for American Sports Cavalcade is Harvey M. Pally. Supervising producer, John D. Mullen. Produced and directed by Mark Kuchin. A promotional consideration provided for and a fee paid by this special offer from Diamond P. For seven seasons, Diamond P Sports award-winning American Sports Cavalcade series on TNN has brought you a wider variety of motorsports than any other and with more cameras than you normally see. And it's because of the talented people who man these viewfinders 
Diamond P has been able to produce an exciting new video entitled, And They Walked Away. Incredible crashes from stock car racing, motocross, IMSA and SEC road racing, NHRA drag racing, Eastern modified, even swamp buggies, and more. To get your copy of And They Walked Away, send $24.95 plus $3.50 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. Or better yet, call 1-800-453-9300. These and MasterCard accepted no CODs. Call now, 1-800-453-9300. The American Sports Cavalcade is a presentation of Diamond P Sports.